Hello Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's Trixie here with Thick Tricks. I am going to be using the Mystical Moments, the Animal Tarot, and the Oracle of the Unicorn to get a Capricorn New Moon reading going for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh, Capricorn New Moon is going to be all about utilizing all the things you've learned in the past 6 to 12 months and making them come down here into the <clears throat> 3D, into reality. Taking the steps that have been presented to you and knowing when the opportunities are there for you. What does and doesn't need to move forward with you is a continuing theme for 2023. Alright, so let's find out <clears throat> what's going on here with the Mystical Moments Leo. Please keep in mind I'm not a licensed physician, so if you're not feeling well, please seek out a doctor. And take what resonates leaving the rest behind and remembering that this is a social media platform. Meant for entertainment purposes. Three of Swords in Reverse. Whoa, Cancer had that in the same position, but I'm not in the reading. Um, okay. The Emperor. So, man, you're directing your life exactly how you want, Leo. Actually, I do get this sense, Leo, that you are attracting the right company, the right people, the right circumstances for a situation to heal that's been kind of painful for you. So this deck has 80, 82, 83 cards in it because all the five masculines have feminine energy with them too. And this feminine ember tells you you're like one of a kind, you do something differently than other people and it's made you attain success in a way that you're really attracting the right people into your life, the right, the right crowd or, or a tribe of people to create some sort of legacy. You might resonate with the girl king, the story of the girl king. I think there's only one female in history that's ever been called a king and not a queen. It's something like that. But you are the king in the jungle. Leo is the king and queen of the jungle. You're doing something really outside the box, outside the norm, that would be typically expected of like males. I feel like you're flipping the script. Yeah, two of pentacles. I feel like telling you you were designed for this. Like spirit designed you to do this. You're going to go somewhere, Leo, in the next six months that is really historical. There are buildings that have been around for like hundreds and hundreds of years. It could be like Windsor Castle. It could be... I don't want to say like that you're going to go to Russia, but you could go so It feels like somewhere in Europe or um, even like South Africa or East Asia that has castles and courtyards. If you're in the Western Hemisphere and you don't have a passport, it could be somewhere like the Mansfield Reformatory has a courtyard and looks from the inside like a castle. It's something like that with like checkered floors. You're going to go somewhere with like stone masonry and where the it doesn't make sense that they were able to build the type of buildings, Leo, that are there when they were built. It just doesn't make, like, it doesn't, like, people can't figure it out. It could be Egypt, <clears throat> Greece, St. Petersburg, which, again, I'd be hesitant to tell you to go somewhere like Russia or Ukraine or anything those parts of that part of the world just because of what's going on um <clears throat> you're attracting this this could be like a trip you've dreamed of your whole life 
and this is happening for you and I feel like when it happens like it's gonna be a like a spur of the moment yes that you have to just like expect and trust and believe that the right circumstances again the right circumstances with this emperor are going to work out in your favor let me explain okay so let me give you an example um so I worked for cruise ships and I had you have to get these like special military grade medical backgrounds for um medicals and backgrounds for cruise ship life and they only last a certain amount of time unless you're out to sea and you can only be on land for a certain period of time and then it just naturally expires and I was like days away from that expiring I wasn't going to go back. It was a lot of work. I didn't really care for it. But then they called on a Friday at like 4.30 and I had to make a decision by 5 to go halfway around the world and take a six-month contract in Australia. And I was in Australia on Wednesday, which would have been Tuesday in the United States, with three visas and a flight that I paid for, didn't have the money for either. All because I made a split second decision to go to Australia and I was there for six months um, it's like unheard of to receive not just one but three visas land air and sea in less than 24 hours and I had mine less than in less than like six hours all three of them on a Sunday at that it's that kind of thing you are going to be asked to make a decision Leo in the next six months I have chills like in the you just have to believe that saying yes will automatically present all the right set of circumstances for you to be there on time or to receive this opportunity the knight of wands in reverse <laughs> yeah you're not gonna have to jump through hoops when you say yes you're just going to say yes, and it's just, like, going to happen. And you're, at the end of it, you're going to be like, what the? Because, I mean, realistically, this Knight of Wands has done a lot of work to train to be able to go through that fire hoop. But in the reverse, there's no training. There's no um, jumping. There's no leap of faith or leap of fear. It's just like, I did the work. I'm good. I'm not going to jump through that flame of fire. I've done that. That's not my that's not my cycle anymore. And the new cycle is this cycle of saying yes to something and not being afraid of that yes, Leo. Okay. Cuz she's probably not as confident jumping through that hoop of fire as she looks. The 3 of pentacles in reverse, yeah. Right now, the right set of circumstances aren't in existence or it would have already happened. And you need to just like let that timing show up. You're going to have to work with a set of team, <clears throat> a new set of people to make this happen. Um, the King of Pentacles is in reverse. So you are going to probably be alone when you do this. Okay, let's use the Animal Tarot to get this reading further life experience with the three of swords yeah this is going to be like a tower moment when you have to say yes to whatever this is um i will tell you that this is gonna go down within like two weeks of when you see this reading 14 days three weeks for a few of you that you're gonna have to say yes it's gonna be the transformation of a lifetime okay some of you, it's like one week, one, two, or three weeks from now. You'll say yes to something, and it's going to kind of reveal your level of trust. You're not a king of pentacles. You're this emperor. You're much more mature than you're giving yourself credit for, Leo. You're much more stable and secure and confident and able than you realize. Okay? Okay. The lovers with the emperor yeah this is something you've wished upon a star like a million times and this is like part of your legacy this is a massive dream two of pentacles in the hierophant or the high priest 
It's a seven of pentacles. You are literally committing to making a choice that even though it may scare you, you know it's exactly what you need. It's the balance that you desire. It's the cycle that you're ready to, to embrace. Okay. The princess of spring. <laughs> yeah, you're not engaging in an old way of doing things. You're engaging in a new way. There's a lot of monarch butterflies. Where do monarch butterflies originate? Because I feel like you might go there. Let's see what this three of pentacles is. The Prince of Autumn. Yeah, this situation is, I feel like when, I feel like Leo, the seven of winter is on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you're, um, be really cautious throughout this. I feel like you're, you're going to be handed an opportunity of a lifetime. It's going to come from a soul tribe member, somebody that just wants the best for you. You have a karmic contract with this person, a positive karmic contract. Um, this person's really on the personal growth train. They see that's the train you're on as well. And they'd like to take you somewhere they've been. This would be like where somebody it, it reaches out to you, Leo, and they're like, hey, I'm going to go to Sedona for this week-long meditation retreat. And it's essentially the same price for me to be in a room alone as it is for me to be there with somebody else. Can you swing your plane ticket? I'll pay for the retreat. And it's like a lofty price for something like that. And you're like, what? You just need to say yes to that. Okay. Because even in the moment, if you're calculating your bank account and you don't have the money, I promise you that when you like at the end of that day, just saying yes opens up the funds and you're able to go on this trip unexpectedly. It's something like that. Somebody reaches out, they're doing better by themselves, they're doing right by themselves, and they see that you would also enjoy this set of circumstances, this trip, this event, this experience. And it's very healing for you. You bond with this person in a way that could turn into love like that, but it also feels like Leo, it's probably somebody that is already an emperor. They're much further along in their legacy and they're just here to be like a mentor. Um, this is a very long lasting, heartfelt, unconditional friendship or relationship with somebody. I don't believe that they are an earth sign in any capacity. They may be like an Aries. They could be a Taurus. Um, Aries, Gemini, I don't believe that they are a Capricorn or a Virgo in any retrospect. This feels like somebody, Leo, this person may have like un unintentionally done, did something behind your back that was kind of shady at some point in your guys' past. Yeah, this is a past life relationship. This person in a past life really did you wrong, and this is healing that karma. This, this like this hand that they lend you. Um, it's not about opportunity. It's just like they genuinely want something better for you and them. They see. I don't know how to explain that, Leo. Just let this in. Say yes to this. Delight, yeah. Count your blessings and enjoy life. Take pleasure in simple things. Always expect the best. Yeah, this person just wants the best for you. And I feel like the Seven of Swords on the bottom of the deck of the Seven of Winter is more about you like having that faith, having that trust. Don't lose valuable time by worrying and stressing that this person's gonna do wrong by you or take advantage of you. They're literally, t they're, it's like, a, it's like that. They're like lending you like a meditation retreat. If you subconsciously believe that they are only taking you on that trip to benefit them, then you don't understand what the meditation retreat is about in the first place. And so you wouldn't even be extended that kind of offer, Leo. 
because like you're vibrating at the level of what they offer you so just let it in I I've I've had like arguments with people in my life where I was like hey somebody's trying to gift you something just receive it don't fight it and the person's like making it difficult and they're trying to bring in other resources and tools that the gift giver didn't really ask for they don't need but there's this subconscious fear that they're an inconvenience or you know and it's like you're not an inconvenience Leo this person wants you on this trip they want you to be a part of the situation let it in because ultimately you also want the type of friendship they're offering you're just a little bit afraid of it um or you're in a state of needing to recognize that you aren't afraid of this type of friendship okay and so Leo, I feel like this is a really great six months for you to embrace opportunity. This one, yes, leads to many more opportunities that's going to bring in trustworthy, protective, funny, charismatic um, opportunities that are going to be right for you, but you have to trust it. I see a lot of people coming into your life. I mean, look at how many people are on this emperor. There's probably like two people in the next six months that come into your life with the way these two little polar bears and the lovers are. And this could be where you meet your divine counterpart in the next six months. Um, you could be out with like a best friend and you're introduced to a divine counterpart or you say yes to a trip with a really good friend, somebody that you go on this trip with and you meet your divine counterpart because you said yes to something that was a little outside your comfort zone. You're going to be inspired. And I feel like there's these like two people that come into your life, a spiritual teacher and like a really healthy romantic partnership or platonic friendship that you need, you desire, that's good for you, okay? I hope this helped, Leo. Please go check out all of your four, big four. <clears throat> Thank you so much for tuning in, liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting on the channel, and I will get at you next time.